everyone, I am Udayasri pursuing B.Tech second year in the domain of Electrical and Electronics Engineering from Vasireddi Venkatadri Institute of Technology. During this quarantine, it's a great opportunity for all of us to learn new skills, explore our interests and shape our future. I believe it is better to do something rather than doing nothing at all. Coursera, a worldwide online learning platform, works with many organizations and universities to offer courses, specializations and degrees in varieties of subjects. We are very grateful that Coursera has come up with a great initiative called Coursera for Campus where the students and faculty can learn lot of new skills as per their interest and earn a certificate by top international universities. I hope it is definitely a good option for all of us during these tough times. I utilize this opportunity to the fullest by enrolling into a course called Electric Power Systems. This course is offered together by the State University of New York and University at Buffalo. This is a four-week course under the guidance of Professor Ilian Greenberg. This course is designed for anyone who is interested in understanding and entering the evolving and emerging energy industry. This course familiarizes us with the standards and policies of electric utility industry. It introduces the electric power systems from the generation of electricity all the way to the wall plug. We will also learn about the segments of power systems and common components like power cables and transformers. This course is a combination of online video lectures, quizzes, assignments, readings and discussions. And this is a course that explores various facets of power sectors and features a culminating project which involves the creation of a roadmap to achieve a self-established and energy-related professional goal. In week 1, it is all about basic electricity. Starting from the toaster to refrigerator, washing machine, dishwasher, electrical chimneys and many more appliances uses electricity to function. What is the term electricity? Electricity is the term that covers all the phenomena which is caused either due to the electric charge or by the movement of electric charge and the electric and magnetic field associated with that. This module mainly focuses on the basic concepts of electricity, basic electrical properties, a simple circuit, Ohm's law, and alternating current. What is a simple circuit? A simple circuit is a circuit that consists of a source, load, and a conductor that connects them. This conductor displays the property of electrical resistance. Ohm's law. We have to know that the current is dependent on two factors, voltage and resistance. This is described in Ohm's law and is named after German physicist George Simon Ohm. Next, it's about alternating current. Large amounts of electrical energy is produced by converting mechanical energy into electrical energy by means of electrical induction using generators. And same principle is employed on a small scale for example in bicycle dynamo. Then it produces AC voltage and an electric potential in which the magnitude and direction change over time is termed as AC voltage and the current produced with this voltage in the load is called alternating current. Week 2 is all about generation, transmission and distribution system. Electrical energy is transmitted and distributed via overhead lines 
and underground cables at different voltage levels. It is necessary to mesh the networks to ensure dependable supply for consumers even if the individual transmission paths fail. This module mainly focuses on generation, transmission, subtransmission and distribution systems and also covers the topics about substations and transformers. Week 3 is all about system designing and switching. This module mainly focuses on circuit breakers, switches, bus parts and switching sequence. Circuit breakers are complicated electromechanical devices and must be serviced regularly so that work on them can be performed safely and switches must be installed before and after them. Let us go to week 4. Week 4 is about the renewable energy and smart grid technologies. This module mainly focuses on smart grid risks, smart grid utilities, smart grid and the environment and the renewable energy. Our nation's electric power infrastructure has served us so well for so long, also known as the grid, has been running up against its limitations. What is a smart grid? A smart grid uses the computer technology to improve automation, communication and connectivity of various components of power network. This is the whole summary of the course Electric Power Systems. Finally, I conclude that online learning platforms like Coursera are very beneficial to us and earning certificates through these online courses adds weight to our resume. I am very grateful to the Coursera team and BBIT Management L4G Solutions for giving all the students this great opportunity. Thank you.